Hey everybody, so for this tutorial we're going to make a stylized leaf like you see here on the right, something quite similar to that. So to start off with on this tutorial I'm using my wet paint brushes, my wet paint brush studio, and then also I'm going to use some 24 karat gold styles. And um, I don't know about you, but I personally keep my styles collections in my library, so I'm going to just have this handy, my styles 24 karat gold and then I have all my different styles there so I kind of have them ready to go and I'm gonna go look here um, I use to keep my brushes uh, I keep my brush proof sheets in my Evernote so I've got a folder in Evernote and I always keep the brushes handy in their own notebook so I can take a quick look but to start off with um, I want uh, I think I'll use this brush number 20 for the base and then because it's really blendy and then I'll use brush number 19 for the streaks that are across. So let's go over here into my brushes and I'm going to get Wet Paint Studio brush number 20. And for this I have got my Impressionist Masters uh, color blends that came, um, palettes that came with the Wet Paint Studio. So I'm going to open the Impressionist Masters and I'm going to pick one of these colors and sample it. So I have got, let's see here, I like this one. It has a little bit of orange and green. So I'm going to hit option and click on it. And I think I'll lower my brush size just a little bit so I don't get any of the colors around it. Not that it usually makes a difference. So now I've got my wet brush loaded. That looks pretty good. I think I will increase the brush size just a little bit and I will take my other one here and kind of move it out of the way. Oops. Grab the whole thing. Just going to group that. Make it a little smaller. We'll keep it for reference over here just so you kind of have an idea of what's what I'm going to make. So first of all I'm going to make the base leaf shape. So I've got my brush. I've got it loaded. So I'm going to go like this and just make whatever shape you like for the leaf. Doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to just pull this down. And we've got these nice blendy colors, these beautiful um, green and uh, yellows and browns that I've sampled from actual Impressionist paintings. So that's my base done. Now I'm going to make another layer above it and create a clipping mask. And also something new that I have is I have made myself um, shortcuts and so I have a shortcut of different things that I do a lot and I make it into an action and actually down below um, you can download those my current if you're a member of Daily Design of um, Creators Couture uh, you can download this and it's for it's for free as long as you're a member. So that way you can always have my current um, action file with all my shortcuts that I have. Like for example, I just made a new layer and I created a clipping mask, but I have an action on there that creates a new layer and makes it a clipping mask and I don't have to do anything. So it's nice. I like to save time wherever I can. So anything that you see yourself doing again and again, I make an action of it. So that's really good because you have to work smarter, not harder. So now I want to make these streaks across and so I'm going to keep the colors that I have loaded but I'm going to change my brush. So I'll get brush number 19 and the brushes that I use, um, the wet paint ones are already preloaded with a gold but I'm going to size down the brush like by clicking the left bracket and then size it back up one and what that does is it loads that brush with my last color. So now when I paint I have the color that I already loaded so I don't have to load it again. So what I'm gonna do is just do like I did here and kind of make some cool little strokes across. And this brush is more streaky so you get some more of those cool colors. So I'm just gonna kinda go over itself here like that. That's easy peasy and now I'm going to add that gold but that gold accent is going to be between the streaks layer and the base layer. So I'll just go over here to my layers panel and all I have to do here is just click a new layer. And it's since it's between um, 
the clipping mask layer and the base layer, it automatically makes it a clipping mask. And so what I will do is I'll just add a gold, a random gold to it, just so that I can see it, and then I can change my gold later. And since it's got a like a layer style, it doesn't matter what color it, I, I paint this in. So I'm just going to do like I did here and kind of follow this. And maybe I'll show, let's see here, I'll put this one below it like I did there. So I'm kind of just wanting to accent that behind these layers. So there, let's see, I'll put that underneath. And here and then maybe one here so it's kind of similar so now what I can do is go through my golds and just click on these like so until I find one that really has the right effect that I want you don't see much of it because it's just peeking out but I want one that's a little brighter because then you see it more with those greens I kind of like that um, but I'll just flip through and I actually have a bunch more here. Let's let them load. It only shows like my first so many by default. There we go. So these got just different golds, but I'm going to flip through here. I think up here there was some nice ones. I like one that's kind of bright. So that's cool. I have, I used a 12A for that. And that's how easy it is to make a stylized sort of leaf um, motif. So in the next tutorial, then we'll use this kind of this leaf motif as the foundation for some printable art.